And talking security, now the military has defended its burning of the MT Tura vessel with 150,000 metric tons of stolen crude oil. The Director of Defense Media Operations, Major General Edward Buba, says that the troops were carrying out legitimate orders by setting it ablaze. He also gave details on how troops intercepted a truckload of cannabis. Sifone Sien has more on this. A forum that provides the military authorities the opportunity to provide updates on operations across the various theaters. It's the first time Major General Edward Buba will be talking to journalists since he assumed the role of Director of Defense Media Operations. Indeed, on the 15th of July, troops of Operation Awase during stop and search operation along Road Ajilete, Uwode, in Yewa South Local Government Area of Ubun State, intercepted and arrested a truck with two occupants, one a Ghanaian, the other a Nigerian. A search on the truck led to the discovery of 702 cartons of 12 caliber Resta cartridges, each carton containing 25 cartridges. Also arrested were 250 packets containing 10 cartridges of black pellets. Wow. And then he defended the burning of a large vessel laden with stolen crude oil by troops, saying they were carrying out legitimate orders. Is that in the military, we work with instructions. Whatever instruction we get, we operate with it. If it is reviewed, we will operate with it. We don't make the laws. We work with the laws that are given to us. While troops succeeded in busting drug trafficking rings and intercepting ammunition meant for separatist groups, the new methods adopted by criminal gangs continue to throw up more challenges. c ACN, TVC News, Abuja. Let's turn our attention to the National Assembly, where members of the House of Representatives at our Committee on International Boundary Dispute between Nigeria and Cameroon are engaged at the potential loss of two communities of about 10,000 hectares of land and its people to Cameroon. At the opening of an investigative hearing, the legislators called on the government to ensure Nigeria does not cede affected communities after the Bakasi loss years ago. National Assembly correspondent Joke Adisa reports. In June 2006, Nigeria signed the Green Tree Agreement, marking the formal transfer of Bakasi Peninsula in Cross River State to Cameroon. 17 years down the line, Nigeria is on the verge of losing Danare and Beajua communities in the same state to Cameroon. This is on account of the failure of the Technical Committee of the Cameroon Nigeria Mixed Commission to locate Pillar 113A. Introduce yourself and your, the community you represent. The task before this haddock committee is to investigate and assess the potential land encroachment by the Cameroonian government. If we're not careful, we may have uh, Nigerian citizens becoming stateless. So it's very important that whatever we do, we, go it, uh, we do it the right way. Uh, also knowing that uh, there are human rights issues involved. The National Boundary Commission says government is doing its best to avert a repeat of the Bakasi experience. Its director general is confident that political and diplomatic means will be used to resolve the umpires. It's not as if now we want to fight to say, ah, we must take wherever our people are. We have seen boundaries cutting across communities. Part of it will be in another country, another part in another country. The legislators say they are taken aback by the disappearance of Pillar 113A as representatives of the communities point accusing fingers at the government. Yadwa is itself a Commonwealth grave site for the regiment of the Second World War in Nigeria. What Cameroon was looking for in, Cam in Bakasi was oil. What they are looking for here is the forest. For certain, maybe political reasons or certain interests, the Nigerian government wanted to forcefully cede that part to Cameroon because they felt that uh, we are from the minority. How many boundaries are straight lines? If, for whatever reason, mistakes have been made, we should be gracious enough to admit that we have made a mistake. It's, it's clear from your presentation that the Cameroonians are not at this time pushing 
One wonders what the Nigerians are excited about to drive these people away from us. The Haddock Committee says it will embark on a fact-finding visit to the affected communities before putting together its report for the constitution of the House in due course. Jokeyatsa, TVC News, Abuja.